What's good? It's Jordan. Today I'll be talking to you about negative effects of desperation. You see, in this life, we have to take accountability for ourselves. We have to take accountability for our actions. And we have to understand that there's going to be times where we feel lonely, where we feel like we can't do it anymore, where we feel like we have lost faith. But we have to overcome these things. We have to overcome these battles on a day to day basis and understanding that in this life, it's spiritual warfare playing at play. The enemy does not want you to be strong in faith. The enemy does not want you to be righteous. The enemy does not want you to walk the righteous path. When we understand this, we move accordingly. We move accordingly to what the Most High wants us to do in this life. We have to understand that when we place ourselves in a desperate state, we may go for any and every opportunity that may seem good, but may be shady on a different level, on a different perspective. Sometimes we may go for these opportunities because we need the resources and this does not help our own personal lives. We think by just going for the first opportunity that we may get in this life, that that is the right opportunity. And that is the opportunity that may make you the person who you are in society in the future, whether that be success, whether that be resources, whether that be the financial gain and aspect of business doing these opportunities. But in reality, we have to realize that the first opportunity that we are placed with and we may get, we cannot be desperate and take that first opportunity. We have to think things through, especially in business. Sometimes people will provide you opportunities that may be bad opportunities just to see how desperate you are, just to see how eager you are to take it. And when you're eager to take these opportunities, when you're eager to do these things because you feel like there's no way out, that is how you get caught up into the nonsense in this life. We have to be focused and keen on understanding that desperation isn't the strongest suit in this life. When we live in desperation, we ruin ourselves. You have to understand the value that you may hold even in the worst times, even in the worst conditions, you are valuable. You are a valuable person. Understand this, live by this and walk like you are a valuable person. God sees you as a person of value. God sees all of us as persons of value, because if he didn't see us as persons of value, we would not be here today. When you look at yourself, from a valuable standpoint, you live outside of desperation. When you're desperate, you don't see yourself as valuable. You don't see yourself as strong. You don't see yourself as the person God sees you as. When we understand this, we have to live outside of desperation. In relationships, we may be desperate to be around people because we feel lonely. We feel that there's things that we haven't worked on. There's things that we haven't done, but we're not willing, able and ready to do those things. We rather just live with the perspective of looking at it from a perspective of finding people in this world and in this life that just accept us for us. And whether we have a bad attitude, whether we have a bad character, whether we are healing and we haven't worked on these things as yet. These people are supposed to accept us for us because that's just how we are. When we live with the mindset of that's just how we are mindset, we don't change. We don't want to make the change and we want to live in mediocrity. With this mindset comes loneliness and filling voids. So you start to fill yourself with people in your inner circle that aren't even supposed to be there because you want to fill a void. Just being around any and everybody because you want to fill a void. Just dealing with any and any person in relationships 
because you want to fill a void. You don't want to feel lonely. We have to embrace loneliness. If we don't understand where loneliness stems from and we don't understand the structure behind loneliness, then we are not able to value ourselves in the proper way, in the proper format of what God wants us to do. Sometimes when we're lonely in this life, it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. Many times in society, people may ask you questions about your own personal life, asking you why you're not married, why you don't have kids, why you don't have a large social circle, why you don't have enormous groups of people around you, why you don't have quote unquote social status, why you don't have these things. But in reality, this is how society wants you to think. Society wants you to think that you're not valuable if you don't have these things. Just because God may not have provided you these things right now doesn't mean that you're not valuable. Sometimes you're not ready for certain things. Sometimes we are not ready for certain things, but we try to convince ourselves that we're ready for certain things, that we're ready for this quote unquote extravagant life that society provides, which is a very false narrative. Everyone is not meant to do the same thing. Everyone is not meant to be the same. And at the end of the day, we just have to be real. Do not go by society standards. Because when you go by society standards, you start to become desperate. Even in networking, when you're doing things through desperation, you tend to connect with people who are not even supposed to even be around you. You tend to want to distribute yourself to every market and every person. And these people have a piece of you without you actually knowing these people. We have to understand that our lives are valuable. Living in desperation is never a good look. People know when you're desperate and people treat you based upon that desperation that you may show. If people know that you're desperate, they're not gonna respect you. They're not gonna deal with you in a proper format, in a proper way. You can fake like you're valuable how much you want, but in reality, people see through that fake persona and perspective that we may uphold. We have to understand this in our dealings on a daily basis and actually do the work. So we actually are valuable and we don't try to make it look like we're valuable. When you try to make it look like you're valuable, when you try to make it look like you have everything figured out, when you try to make it look like everything is working in your favor through the image that you may uphold, that has the ability to fall. The people that you may be around may see through that persona and that image and that perspective because everyone has the ability to see errors in other people and errors in themselves. So in our daily endeavors, understand that you are valuable, but if you try to fake like you're valuable to try to appease and try to make yourself look like you're more higher than other people, that will eventually fall. You will eventually be tested for that. It's best that we be real, we be authentic in our dealings on a day-to-day -day basis and live outside of desperation. When you live outside of desperation, you understand the value that God provides you. You understand that, okay, this opportunity that you may be placed with may not be the best opportunity. So it's best that you count on the Lord, follow God, bring this to God. And if God doesn't want you to be a part of this, if God doesn't want you to do this, then you don't do it. Do the things that God wants you to do in this life. Focus on the things that God wants you to focus on in this life. Know that when you're coming to God and you're dealing with God, God does not want you in a desperate format. God does not want you in a desperate mentality. When you're desperate, you tend to do things outside of God's law. There's many people in this world and in this life that were desperate and they decide that they wanted to go to the enemy for access, for opportunities, for resources. And they tend to get the terrible end of the stick. 
They may have been assaulted. They may have been hurt and harmed verbally, physically, financially, spiritually, mentally, physically because of their desperation. So it's best that we live outside of desperation so these things do not happen to us. So today I'll be reading this scripture to you and I hope that this scripture can help you in your own personal life. Psalms 107, 1. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endure forever. Understand that in this life, when something doesn't work out for you, it's God protecting you. It's God guiding you and God seeing a better life for you. When you live in desperation, you do not see a better life for yourself. You think that today you have to live in this survivalist mentality because tomorrow is never promised and you have to do what the world says in order for you to gain resources. Think outside of resources. Think outside of yourself. Put God first and understand that God's protection and God's covering may not seem like it's a big thing, but in the large or scheme of things, God will provide you the answers as to why he protected you from this business endeavor, why he protected you from this relationship, why he protected you from this interaction. And we have to understand God's protection and not look at it as a negative thing because God knows what's best for us even when we don't know what's best for ourselves. Let's follow the Most High, live according to his plan and his will and his purpose and understand that there is a purpose for everybody. There is a passion for everybody. And when we live inside of the concepts of the Most High, we start to understand this. We start to understand what we need to do in this life to fulfill the roles of what God wants us to do today. I want to thank you for watching today. Peace.